Stress and strain in the skies, and tonight some questions about safety directed at Air Canada. All of this after a flight from Toronto to London touched down in Ireland yesterday, ordered down by a captain dealing with a co-pilot who had fallen ill during the flight, leaving passengers and now investigators wondering what went wrong. The CBC's Adrian Arsenault is on the story. The tiny airport at Shannon, Ireland. Not a regular stop for Air Canada, but a 767 from Toronto heading for London was forced to land here yesterday. A medical diversion, unusually a problem with the co-pilot. To my knowledge, it's the first time this has ever, ever occurred with a pilot. It wasn't just that the co-pilot didn't feel well. To some, he appeared to be having a breakdown and was taken to this Irish hospital. It's believed he's still there. What happened on board is murky. The CBC spoke with a passenger, Sean Finucane, who described a mid-flight call for doctors and then the co-pilot being carried into the cabin in restraints. He was very, very distraught. He was yelling loudly at, at times um, when they tried to put his shoes on later. He swore and threatened people. His voice was clear, so it didn't sound like he was drunk or anything. But he was swearing and uh, asking for God and very, very distressed. He specifically said he wanted to talk to God. When the co-pilot was taken off the flight by doctors, the 146 passengers were then flown on to London. Because this is about a man's health, very little is being said publicly, but there are many questions and lots of speculation. Was the co-pilot overstressed? Had he flown too many hours? Were there ever any indications of potential problems? And if so, what was done about them? Air Canada, like many airlines, does do frequent medical checks, but not, it seems, in-depth psychological ones. According to one tester, pilots are just asked a series of questions. There are no specific tests. You can do blood tests for that. Uh, but you can sit with the pilot and listen to what he has to say. And medicine is very much what the patient tells you, uh, if he chooses to tell you. Safe at home now, Sean Finnecane says he's impressed with the way it was all handled. If anything, it gives me a bit of relief to know that the pilot take care of it if there is a problem with another member of crew. The Air Canada Pilots Association issued a statement commending the staff, saying although illness of flight crew was rare, pilots are fully trained for such an event. So, a safe ending, but there's much to be sorted. Transport Canada says it will now talk with the crew. Adrian Arsenault, CBC News, London.